So in this stock selection video, we will be looking at stock selection from short term trading point of view and swing trading point of view. So if you're a working professional, this video will be very helpful. So what I necessarily do is I select a stock from both short term trading point of view and swing trading point of view. That is one common stock. Let us take up Tata Steel as an example. This was a stock that was selected last week. And as of time of recording, stock is already up 6% for the week. Now up and down does not matter because as traders, what we want is either stock should have momentum on the upside or on the downside. So when you're selecting one particular stock for both short term trading and swing trading, why this is helpful is because when you're tracking charts on end of day basis, you are learning a lot in terms of price action, in terms of levels from where price moves up and moves down. So when finally a breakout comes about in a stock and stock then pulls back to a demand region, you are much more confident in terms of identifying a trade and trading in the direction of trend. So what I suggest is keep a limited watch list, keep limited set of stocks and select those stocks that will qualify both for short term trading and swing trading because this is where you will learn a lot about price action and this will in turn help you make real time decisions in the market. Click on the subscribe button and bell icon to get instantly notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you for subscribing. So learning about price action is very important because if you recollect on 4th November where I did a video on Bank Nifty, I explained the underlying structure. I did tell you a good risk reward trade would be if price pulls back. But my personal bias in that video that I mentioned was that I don't think a retracement will come about and Bank Nifty will continue moving higher. So as of recording this video, Bank Nifty is now trading at 26,700 and from that video price has again moved up about 1000 points. So had I not consistently tracked Bank Nifty, please recollect a couple of weeks back, I did about four videos on Bank Nifty tracking price action very closely. And had I not kept a close eye on Bank Nifty, I won't understand what is going on in this phase and why momentum was exceptionally strong here. So please take my advice, be consistent with your stocks or instruments and then try and understand price action. This simple concept alone will help you trade in a better way when it comes to real time application. So stock selection in this particular video, I'll give out four names later, is based on a simple concept of support and resistance. So let's assume this is resistance in price. Price keeps on retracing back from the high end and once it stages a breakout, this is where a lot of demand then starts flowing in for the stock. Now at times what happens is price will again come down and test out this support level because now this resistance level has become support level and then again stock tries to move higher. So the key to stock selection when it comes to short term trading or when it comes to swing trading is to identify those stocks that are very close to the previous demand region in terms of buying a stock or a resistance region that is a supply region when it comes to short selling a stock. Now, if you're a beginner, stay away from short selling and initially only focus on buying in equity segment because this is where your trading will improve. So if you take a look at this particular chart, I've just posted this for learning purpose. Take a look at this level. Why do you think stock reacted so positively here and staged an up move of more than 10, 15%? The main reason, because this was the previous resistance region in the market, price broke out and then it clearly headed higher and while retracing back it is this demand region where price has again taken support and moved higher. So your aim as a trader is to capture this entire swing that plays out in the market. After all that is what short term trading and swing trading is all about. So continuing our discussion with the previous slide again take a look this is chart of TCS a previous resistance level a clear breakout happening a price here and then few sessions later, this is test of the resistance level that now becomes a support level and then price moves higher. Again, take a look at this example. This is a clear resistance level that is developing on the chart. Again, a clear breakout in form of these two wide range candles. And then few sessions later, this is again retest of the resistance level, which is now a support level. So this is a price action pattern that plays out consistently over all instruments in stock market. And this is a highly reliable pattern which you can use for both stock selection and you can use as a strategy as well. 
So you should explore this further. Of course, given the scope of the video, I cannot go into much detail, but this sort of pattern working professionals should explore more. So for those of you who are channel members, please note that pullback trading part four will be released next week. So please keep your notifications on. And for those of you who are not channel members, you can just become a member for one month, watch all these 2025 videos and then cancel your membership for the subsequent months. So in last week's stock selection video, we selected DLF, then Tata Steel, Apollo Hospitals and Apollo Tires. Now these were from very short term point of view, short term trading point of view. So DLF, Tata Steel and Apollo Tires gave exceptional movement in the week. So for the coming week, my watch list is a bit on defensive side. Main reason being that high beta stocks and sectors have seen very strong momentum on the upside. To be on the safer side so that I don't miss out on any short term movement, obviously these four names will be carry forward. Along with this, I will keep Bank Nifty on my watch list because this is something I trade on a consistent basis. And now I'll be adding four more stocks. So by the end of this video, we will have a total of eight stocks four from previous week and four of the current week. And in the next two parts, again, we'll be selecting only eight stocks. So by the end of 30 days, we'll have total 16 stocks that we will track for the period of three to four months and then see trading opportunities in this. So the first stock is NIIT Tech. It's also called Coforge now. All the charts that are put up are on a 60 minute time frame. So just take a look at Coforge structure. A nice trend is in place. Now this was the previous demand region. It was a resistance region, then became a support region. Price initially moved higher. Now, after some bit of correction, we are now seeing one more resistance region developing on the chart. Now, this resistance region is exactly at the point of previous demand zone. So this becomes a very interesting point where you need to start tracking NIIT tech for a fresh breakout and then a pullback. So if NIIT tech goes past something like 2300 with some strong bit of momentum, and then it retraces back to this demand level, that would be an ideal risk reward opportunity. So the next stock on my watch list is Dr. Reddy. We've had a strong momentum on the upside, almost a vertical rise. And since then price is consolidating. So we are somewhere around this gap region that exists on the chart that has in fact been filled. And now price is again trying to form some sort of resistance region here. This is a consolidation zone. And this actually comes very close to this entire gap region here, which in turn is some sort of support in the market. So for Dr. Reddy's, if price actually breaks this particular level and moves down to something like 4,600, 4,500, somewhere very close to this particular resistance region, then actually that would be a much more suitable opportunity for swing trading purpose. From short term trading purpose, if we see a breakout above something like 5,180, 5,200, and then some pullback, that would actually offer ideal risk reward even from short term trading point of view. So Dr. Reddy's is actually a developing structure. I just wanted to put up some pharmaceutical stocks in my watch list. That is why I shortlisted this. And as stock has moved higher, I'm sure a lot of traders would have attempted to get into Dr's Reddy at this particular level. And since then price has also consolidated. There's been time correction also, and this would have caused a lot of frustration among traders. So these are the kind of setups I like to focus upon where a trend is in play and then some pullback near some previous demand region. And then I shortlist the stock for a swing and short term trade. So the next stock in my watch list is Jubilant Foodworks. Now a clear trend was in play in Jubilant Foodworks, a clear structure of higher high and higher low, even momentum was strong. Now over the last one month, if you see price has consolidated, we've had some price correction and time correction also. And now price is forming a clear resistance region. So price has taken resistance multiple times around this level and currently it's trading at 2252. This demand zone that you see, this is again very close to the previous demand level that we saw between 2040 and 2200. So this is a good place where you should start paying attention to Jubilant Foodworks, both from short term trading point of view and positional trading point of view. You can also include swing trading in this. I think this stock qualifies for all these three forms of trading. And if we get a nice breakout above 2260, 2270, and that is when I will select the stock for something like swing trading and even for something like short term trading. So before we move forward, an important announcement. These are the only two channels that are associated with our YouTube channel. Please be aware of all the fake Telegram channels that are using name very similar to ours. And please check the spelling before joining the Telegram channel. 
So the next stock in my watch list is HCL Technologies. This belongs to information technology space. So you've seen some nice uptrend here, very similar to other IT stocks. And now HCL Technologies is forming some sort of resistance region between 860 and 855. Now why this region is important? Because again, based on our previous discussion, take a look, this was a nice demand region. This was earlier resistance region, price then broke out, moved higher, it came down here, again took some sort of temporary support and again drifted lower. Now this was also the place where high beta stocks were performing well. So naturally ID stocks won't do well in that particular phase. But now we are seeing some sort of nice base being built around 800, 820. And let's see if something like 860 is taken out with some bit of volume expansion and then we get a pullback. So the underlying logic of stock picking when it comes to short term trading, swing trading is very simple. You just need to identify phases where price has been in a range, in a congestion and then broken out and then it comes back to take support again. Now this is low risk opportunity because even if you buy here and stock fails to move higher, at the most it will move lower and hit your stop loss here. So instead of buying here when stock is breaking out, buying when it pulls back makes a lot more sense especially for retail traders and for working professionals. So let us now understand why traders lose money in short term trading and swing trading. So I'll just mark out the previous resistance level here. All right. So what usually happens is when a trader sees a breakout, main importantly, these two candles, this is where majority of traders enter the stock thinking that momentum will continue. They don't take into account risk reward and they also don't take into account that stock has already moved a lot in the short term. So what usually happens is that statistically, if you see more than 65% of breakouts actually fail in the market. So if you're a breakout trader, you would be knowing this, that most of the breakouts initially fail, price then faces some retracement and then again, momentum continues in the direction of trend. Now, while traders are failing in breakout trading or something like these structures is because when the price is pulling back, this is where they start exiting their positions because now their mind is telling them that price will continue to move lower. So the key here is that as a trader, you need to develop some bit of patience and not look into charts on a minute to minute basis. And at times, this is where I feel working professionals have a lot of advantage because if you are buying at a breakout, then obviously your risk reward is a bit skewed. But what is technically happening in this region what traders perceive this to be a start of a downtrend is actually retest of a previous demand region. So this is again a VSA concept where this particular retest just tells you that the overall market is testing out your conviction. It is also testing out the demand at lower level. And most of the cases you will see then price simply starts moving in the direction of trend. So whether it is short term trading or it is something like swing trading, there are two important points you always have to keep in mind. Number one, what is your risk reward when you're entering? Number two, the importance of trade location when it comes to initiating a trade. So if you are initiating a trade, I'll just remove these lines. So if you are initiating a trades in these particular two candles, then this is a poor trade location because stock has already moved a lot and some bit of retracement is but natural. But if you are initiating a trade when stock pulls back, at this particular point A, this is where your risk reward is ideal and the trade location is also ideal because what is essentially happening is a retest of a previous demand region. So this was a previous resistance region and now it becomes a support region. So in hindsight, seeing this is very easy, but in real time, obviously it is very difficult to keep a control of your emotions and your mind. And that is where patience plus practice comes in. The more number of times you fail trying to practice the concept, the more better you will get with time. So you can use the videos here that I've linked up that will help you get better in both short term trading and swing trading. I've precisely covered how to enter and how to exit. So thanks a lot for watching this video guys. Kindly consider hitting the like button if you find the content useful. Take care and be safe.